this is the next level to integrate the tripod foot legs and pelvis integrate them all together when I'm wanting the PEC pattern so first we have a good uh, need to have a good understanding of the breathing in the four point kneeling for the PEC pattern reversal where we're getting all the air out as we push through the back goes back so then we can expand the back of the rib cage and as we're breathing out get the internal external obliques to contract turns those dominus contract so we can shunt air into the back here so this is the next level for it what this teaches the body to do also is to sit the center of mass back without without you feeling like you're sitting back so it's to reorient the position of the pelvis which is usually too far forward and the position of the rib cage which is usually too far open to reorient so they face each other so the respiratory diaphragm pelvic diaphragm they both face each other as opposed to that and the body feels much easier there's less pressure in the knees pelvis neck shoulders and the back when we do this so we have the feet touching the wall about your hip width apart and then we step out one foot length of your own foot a small ball not a big ball foam roll is too big uh, basketball is too big small ball or rolled up towel not between the knees we're a bit higher so it opens up the back of the pelvis and then we're bending the knees a little bit and i'm tucking the pelvis under so the key thing is that i feel the psis points which is this one i want to feel those points touching the wall here so my brain can sense the left and right touching the wall and as i do that i'm feeling pressure go into my heels so i'm sensing my heels so the whole tripod is contacted but there's a real sense of pressure in the heels because with the PEC pattern the body is oriented to the front all the time to the balls of the feet so when you do this it's very easy to just start pressing through the balls of the feet and the heels lose pressure we want the heels to contact so the brain can learn to bring the pelvis back so the knees are bent pressure through the tripod especially the heels pelvis tucked and the lower back touching the wall so right now I feel from here to about here it's touching the wall so that's good so the head doesn't have to be okay arms in this position can also do here so we might even do a couple of sets this way too because it opens up the tissue in the back too so your arms at that that level so it's sort of in in line with the ribs the angle of the ribs here now i come forward because of the breathing i don't come off the wall because i just want to bend forward i come forward because of the exhale making the ribs that usually live inhale when we inhale the ribs do this when we exhale the ribs do that or the should do that what most people's body do is inhale come back exhale just to here inhale again come back to here it doesn't get a full exhale so it's over inflated over breathing all the time so we're getting all the air out so ribs that normally live here start to really come in they'll reorient they'll ex uh, internally rotate and your body will start coming off the wall okay because of the breathing so I'm feeling that here's heels, PSIS, and I'm breathing in through the nose. Just nice, easy breath. So I say easy breath, so my neck can stay relaxed. I'm not going, because this just tenses everything and will make my body more tense. And out through the mouth, like I'm fogging up a mirror, and I'm reaching forward, just gentle. I hold this position. So I don't go back and don't come back on the wall keep the tension that's created so when I breathe out enough I feel the side abs engage I keep that tension then I breathe in it'll tension here but I don't let it come out again and it'll shunt air into my back and up into here all the air out again reaching forward as I breathe out all the air out Keep that tension in the abdomen, breathing in, breathe out. So because I've been doing this for a while, what I feel now is just my PSIS and about this level touching the back, touching the wall. This is good. So we come back up, have a rest. You might notice you can naturally feel like air wants to come out out when you breathe out more Let the breathing recover five sets of five so each breath is like a rep a rep at the gym 
set up again. The brain loves finding muscles, then losing them, have to find again. So uh, hip width, feet against the wall, step out one length of your foot. That one there, so there's a tiny little squeeze, it's not much. Pelvis tucked, so the PSIS, we can feel both left and right touch. Lower back's touching tripod contact, so contact into the tripod, especially into the heels. Let's do arms this way this time. Same thing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Arms reaching forward, just gentle, three out of 10 effort. All the air out, till this tightens, keep it tight, breathe in. Breathe out. So we're going forward as we breathe out, holding that position we've just made as we breathe in. So it lets the ribs open at the back. Still got pressure in the heels. Have a rest. Good. When you first do this, you feel you haven't got much of an out breath at all. So mine's probably three times as long as it was, being the PC pattern all of my life, wondering why I could ever breathe properly. And now I've got a full exhale now. So it just feels like after a while, it's like I can't believe I can keep breathing out. It's a very good sign the body's coming out of the pattern. So we're putting the bones in the position to get out of the pattern, then we breathe in that position and it gets the nervous system out of the neurological pattern that we're in because it's a polyarticular pattern, which means that it's many muscles crossing many joints issue, not just one muscle issue. Let's go again. So shoulder, uh, hip, hip width, feet against, one foot in the middle, pelvis tucked, bit of a knee bend. Some people need a bit more knee bend to get this happening more, that's fine. So I'm gonna do a bit more bend here. Weight in the tripod, especially the heel. And we'll do this position again. In through the nose. So I'm keeping here tight. It'll pressurize. I keep it tight and I'm like I'm breathing in against it. Just your eyes follow your spine. Don't, don't do this one. It doesn't have to be down here. Your head just following the natural curve of your spine. So it's just PSIS pretty much touching the wall now. This is good. So what we've done, we're getting the obliques, the internal uh, intercostal muscles between the ribs to act as a shroud over the whole rib cage so it tensions the outside of the rib cage so the diaphragms can do their job and actually dome more inside even getting a centimeter more doming of the diaphragms improves everything so we've got one more set to go this is worthwhile spending time on uh, when you first learn this twice a day um, will give you such fast results Especially if you have hip impingement problems, hip osteoarthritis, hip bursa issues, lower back pain. Don't deal with acute disc injuries though. Neck issues, nerve problems in the arms. Uh, really stressed, really emotional. This will, uh, if, you, if you really can't sleep because you're amped up, do this. Uh, getting all the air out and facilitating the part of the nervous system to relaxation just by this by this breathing makes you feel relaxed. It can make you feel sleepy and very fast. Last one. So pelvis tucked. That actually helped a lot have my knees a bit more bent. Arms here. We'll do this way again. In through the nose. Nice easy breath out through the mouth
still relaxing into all this like Tai Chi, relaxing to about 3 out of 10 effort, all we need, just get all the air out. Oh, feels so good. Uh, also, if you have um, incontinence issues, uh, many women have this, they don't talk about, or make men too, incontinence issues with number ones. Um, this will help tremendously because your pelvis is in a bad position all the time when you have incontinence issues. <sighs> 